The hotel has an aquifer thermal energy storage system, an ATES. During the summer months, cold groundwater at a temperature of 8 degrees Celsius is pumped from one set of wells into the system, where it is sent through a heat pump operating as a chiller. This exchanges the heat from the hotel into the water, cooling the hotel. This heated water at a temperature of about 16 degrees Celsius is then pumped down different wells to a depth of about 110 meters into a heat aquifer. This is where the heat accumulates and it's stored for later use, energy storage. So during the winter, this heated water is pumped back up out of the heat aquifer, goes through the same system, but this time the heat pumps extract the heat this raises the temperature of the heating system to 55 degrees Celsius, and this is then pumped around the hotel to provide the heating. The hot water that came up from the heat aquifer, having lost its heat having gone through the heat pump, is pumped back into the cold wells at the same temperature as the naturally occurring groundwater, so as to ensure everything stays in balance. A Siemens somatic system is at the heart of the control hardware. The entire system can be monitored and controlled, either on site or remotely, and here we see information on the pumps used to extract the heated water from the aquifer. Everything has variable speed drives uh, used throughout the system to make it as efficient as possible based on the heating and cooling demands at any given time. And of course, the entire installation is covered in IoT sensors, industrial IoT in action. Now, outside the hotel, the facade is covered in solar panels, and these generate around 200 megawatts per year. That's roughly about 10% of the electricity needs of the hotel, with the remaining 90% coming from renewable energy from wind turbines here in Denmark. 